that works right here at News for Jax has a new home and we wanted to visit him. Yeah, so we wanted a little tour and we knocked down the front door and here he comes right now. And his house, let's just say, it's a little different. Is that a hug yeah, or open a door? Oh, yeah. Good to see you. What's the proper greeting for somebody who lives on a boat? Whatever you want. I guess you could say ahoy if you ahoy. want. Ahoy. Ahoy. All right, you've been talking about actually moving out of your apartment and, and buying a boat to live on for a while. How long have you wanted to do this? Pretty much exactly a year. Okay. I started signing my lease on my apartment last year. I was like, oh, there's got to be a different way to do things. But houses, I didn't want to buy a house, deal with all that. So I started thinking outside the box. I was like, okay, I don't want to live in a trailer, but what about a boat? That could probably work. And so I started looking around, saving up money, and we're about to see the result, I guess. Well, let's do let's it. Let's do it. I want to see. All right. One of the big things that comes with having a boat is naming it. So what's the name? The name is Big News. I, I know y'all can relate to that. So this is this is the big news right now. All right, so <laughs> let's say that you're coming through. They have to open up the bridge. What do you say? I say, uh, Ortega River Bridge, this is Motor Yacht Big News approaching from the east, requesting it open. And they'll reply, Motor Yacht Big News, your open is upcoming. And I'll, it's, it's really fun, actually. You'll get to see the radio and everything up there. And, it's, it's a lot of fun. So I have a question for you, and you, you don't have to answer in specifics, but how does the cost compare to having an apartment, owning a home, having different, different, different options? Like, where are we looking at? Okay, so rent here uh, is by the foot. And so for a boat this length, which is 38 feet long, it works out to about $400 a month uh, for the slip. But you have to put electricity on top of that, which is a $100 flat fee um, for me right now. So that's that's $500 for pretty much everything you need. Uh, and that's, I know for me, less than my apartment was. So. Wow. And look at the view that you have here. And obviously, you're on the water. This is the best view in the city. This is absolutely the reason that I moved it to this slip. I'm going to move it all around. But for right now, I am enjoying this view. So no regrets. No regrets at all. This is this is everything I hope to be and a lot more. That could be the name of your next boat. <laughs> no regrets. All right, so let's take a tour. Ahoy! So this is the entrance. Be sure to watch your head there. All right. Yeah. So this is the main bedroom. I've got a, uh, a queen size bed over there and a twin size bed over here, uh, which is already more than I need right now. So I'm gonna turn that into a workshop uh, when I get around to it. Um, what does it, that mean, a workshop? Like a workbench, place yeah. to put all the tools, okay. everything that you need to, to maintain a boat like this. Uh, okay. So behind you is actually the, the bathroom. And you can see this bathroom has a shower, it's got a toilet, a sink, everything you need. It's, I mean, it, it really is it's like the head. A, It is the head. You, you know your nautical lingo. I like that. So this is the main living area. It's called the salon of a boat, where you have all your, your seating, your entertainment, your kitchen all rolled into one. Uh, and it's also got the lower helm here. So you can, you actually have a choice of where to control the boat from, down below or up top. So it's, it's really cool. And Colin, I've been on a lot of boats before, but one of the things that this is so unique is all of the light that you get, especially in this part of the boat. I really enjoy these windows. And a lot of people in the past who have owned this boat have covered them up with it, like foam insulation and, uh, and fabric curtains and ugly things like that. But for me, I wanted to take all that down, give it a fresh coat of paint and really show off these big windows where you get a 360 view. One of the things that is really cool is your entertainment system. Yeah, let's take a look at that. So this is a 4K TV that I had in my apartment. I didn't want to get rid of it on the boat, but at the same time, I didn't want to cover up these amazing windows. So you get your 4K TV with Xbox, I got Hulu, Netflix, everything you could ever want right here. So down there is what's called the uh, the Folksole, which is actually an abbreviation of Forward Castle, if you can believe it or not. This is a second bedroom into the front of the boat. That's why it has that V shape. And it's really a full-size queen bed. Um, it just gets narrower toward the front. 
Seems like if you had a family on a boat, that's where you'd stick all the kids. Uh, yeah, that's that's very true. Uh, my my whole family was here this weekend, actually. Uh, my grandparents, my parents, and my brother. And there was no lack of places for people to sleep. Everyone had a spot and everyone was comfortable. Colin, thank you so much for letting us on your boat, giving us a tour. I'm starting to think that I did it the wrong way yes. as far as my planning with all the kids and the houses and stuff like that, right? Right. I mean, this is absolutely on, on paper as good as it is in real life. I mean, a lot of times these things sound like great ideas, but when you actually try to execute them, you find out that maybe not. This is... This is a perfect life for you. Exactly, it's more practical than I thought because when we heard about the big news going through the newsroom, <laughs> we're like, I don't know if that would work or not, but now that we are here, kudos to you, man, this is awesome. Well, it's definitely not the right choice for everyone. I'll go ahead and say that flat out. There's a lot of stuff that's different than a house, but at the same time, you can make it to where it's pretty much the same or even better depending on who you are. So for me, I, I totally agree. This is everything I hoped it could be and better. So I'm, I'm just so happy to have y'all here. We can Aww. we can hang out, enjoy the view, the, the fun times on the water. Well, thanks again, we appreciate it. Yeah, awesome, thanks for having me. Little side.